Hey guys, so today I will be looking at my picks for the top 10 LEGO Star Wars sets of 2020. I originally wanted to do a worst to first type thing, but I'm sure m &R Productions will be doing that soon and I do not want to steal his content, so I will be sticking to a top 10 list of the top 10 favourite sets of the year, and then maybe at the end I'll say some of my least favourites. Um, but yeah, let's get into my 10th favourite set of 2020. For the 10th best set of the year, I have put the AAT, and overall I really think this is a great set with some great minifigures, uh, and the problem that it's so low is obviously the bad scale and all of the features that aren't in the right spot, as well as the price which obviously goes down to the two great figures of the set that you're probably buying it for. So overall, I do think this is a pretty good set anyways, um, but it's just a few features that really let it down for accuracy which is very sad to see in a grey set. Up next I have the Death Star Final Jewel, and this is good for accuracy as well as uh, definitely play. It has like heaps and heaps of play features as well as great minifigures. Um, so really a great play set overall with some great minifigures and even okay for display as well. In 8th place I put the TIE Fighter Pilot Helmet. I decided I needed to choose a helmet for this, this range because they're all quite good, but I think the TIE Fighter Pilot is definitely the best in my opinion. It just looks really sleek and accurate, and I know a lot of people like the Boba Fett helmet, but I just think it doesn't look great in the same scale as the other ones. So this is definitely basically a different change to the Stormtrooper with the most pieces and might I say the most accurate. Up next I put 75318 The Child, the last release of 2020. Um, now this is the only buildable figure on this list, well not buildable character, and it just looks really accurate. Um, the other one we got this year, Dio, was really accurate, however it just, I don't, it didn't have enough play features and that really left it out, as well as it having to stand on the base which didn't look too good. Um, but this thing, the reason it's not as high on the list is because of that face and I understand Lego did it right um, and I I thank Lego for trying it and I know it would definitely be a hard thing to do to make something so cute in form of bricks. Um, so yeah, Lego did a good job but it just doesn't look right and it's very hard to get it to look right. Next I have the ITS Transport, and this is a really great set. Uh, it looks really accurate and well, obviously all of the angles and stuff is just amazing. However, where it's let down is obviously the minifigures, um, but the build is really top notch and some of the best of LEGO this whole year. Uh, so a really good set apart from the minifigures. Next I have the UCS A-Wing, and this looks incredible. Um, so I really like this set, and I'm sure a lot of people do. Uh, the only problem I have with this set is those angles that they have down the bottom. It doesn't look right to me, and I understand that it would be really hard to get it right, but it just doesn't look um, accurate. It looks a bit holy, um, but obviously LEGO did do a great job anyways, and that's why it's so high on the list, uh, and it's a really good UCS set. Next I have the Five of Hers Battle Pack, and a lot of people will be going, oh, I'll put this higher on the list, but no, it's amazing for minifigures, um, and the builds are great, it, they're just oversized and inaccurate, which sucks, um, and I, obviously from that interview with Brickset, we understand why they do it, uh, just to get their accuracy up, but it's just sad to see, and I really wish they did it in a smaller scale. In third place I have the AA8080, um, and this is really good, um, it's the most accurate 8080 by far, um, it's just an amazing, it's it's like the right scale to me, I really wish they do a UCS one, but this is great, uh, the only thing, the only letdown for the set is the speeder, which looks really bulky and oversized, uh, so not a fan of the speeder, but other than that this is an amazing set. Um, and it doesn't like fall apart or anything, so that's just really good to see. 
Up next, I have the Razor Crest. Um, it's obviously the star vehicle of the Mandalorian that all Mandalorian fans will want, and it is an amazing representation of it. It does look great. Um, it all opens up, which is great, and there's a lot of great features. People saying, "Oh, there's too much room," um, but when Lego re renamed it the Bounty Hunter transport ship, yeah, of course there's going to be room. It's just it's a bounty hunter transport ship, and you need to transport bounty hunters. I mean, but anyways, it's just an amazing set, and you can recreate some great scenes from the show in there. Um, but yeah, if they do a UCS one, that might be a bit better with some great interior space. But you know, this is a great Razor Crest, anyways. Well, you probably worked out by now what the set is, but it is the Mos Eisley Cantina, which is by far the best set of the year. It is amazing. It's I think also the most um the most pricey set of the year, but it is great. It's the second entry to the Master Builders line, and it opens up fully, which is really great with an amazing selection of minifigures. Um, and yeah, it's just definitely the best Mos Eisley Cantina, and I don't see Lego could do any better than this. Um, so that is definitely the best of the year, and for fun, um, now I'll go to my least favourite set of the year, which personally is the Night Buzzard. And I agree the ship is cool in the movie, depending how useless it is, um, but just the build is just like a shell of the ship and it does not look great. Well, it looks fine from a display point of view, but just overall the interior isn't great. Um, however, that was my top 10 picks for 2020 overall. Um, again, if you want to see more of these top 10, top 5, whatever vids, please comment down below, and please comment your suggestions as well. Um, however, that will be off today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. That'll be all, folks. Goodbye.